video, I will be performing the infant tap bath. Without further ado, let's get started. Infant tap bath is a process of giving bath to the infant. There are special considerations that we have to take on our minds that infant can be given a bath after the umbilicus has healed. There are purposes for the infant tap bath and these are the first one is to cleanse the baby, the second one is to provide comfort, and then the third one is to stimulate circulation, and then the fourth or the last one is to prevent infection. For the assessment, we must assess the temperature of the water to be used and also we must assess the condition of the stump or the cord as well as assessing the infant's auxiliary temperature. Infant tap bath nursing diagnosis or risk for injury and risk for infection. For the planning, plan the preparation of the equipment needed for the procedure and then ask the mother to provide the baby's clothes or linens and then be sure to explain the procedure to the mother. The equipment needed for this procedure which is the infant tap bath are two pitchers, two basins, shirt, pair of gloves, weighing scale, thermometer, wash cloth, diaper, two baby blankets, and then the baby soap. The first step for the infant tap bath is explain the procedure to the mother's baby in order to avoid raising the mother's anxiety. So let's assume that I am talking to the mother's baby. Hi ma'am, good morning. So let me introduce myself ma'am. I am Jessica Cabasag, a student nurse from Foundation University. So today ma'am, I am the one who is assigned to do the infant tap bath of your baby. So the purpose of this procedure ma'am is to cleanse your baby as well as giving or providing her comfort. Is that okay with you ma'am? Okay, thank you ma'am. After explaining the procedure to the mother of the infant, we must wash our hands in order to prevent transfer of microorganisms. After doing hand washing, next is take the baby's temperature per axilla for 10 minutes. Let us assume that I am using the exact thermometer. Prepare and arrange all articles to be used in order to avoid delays in the procedure, also to avoid chilling to the infant once done with the bath. After that, prepare weighing scale. The linen should be arranged in order, two baby blanket, shirt, binder, and then the diaper. Prepare lukewarm water in a basin and place it on the work table. After doing that, Test the water by dipping your inner wrist or elbow. Turn off air conditioner or electric fan to avoid drafts. After doing that, put on a pair of gloves to protect oneself from infection. After putting a pair of gloves, carry the baby to the working area. Make sure you hold the baby properly in order to avoid falls or injury to the infant. Then, undress the baby and wait.
mummify the baby using a baby blanket to provide proper restraint. Skin surfaces should not come in contact with each other. Clean the eyes of the baby using a washcloth. Wipe from inner cantos to the outer cantos. Do not use soap. Then, sponge the baby face, ears, eyes, and dry using the bath blanket. Following the order of bath makes it easier and faster. Put soap on baby's head or apply a baby shampoo. Rinse using the first basin. Release the body from restraint. And then, slowly lower the infant into the top or basin. This is done to avoid starting the baby. Soap the body using a mild soap to avoid irritation. Then, transfer the baby to the second basin for rinsing. Carry the baby out of the basin and place him or her on a new bath blanket and then pat dry. Put on the new shirt for the baby and then dress the cord based on hospital policy if it is necessary.
cleans the genitalia based on hospital routine. For girl, separate the labia with fingers and cleans from you to down. And then for the boy, retract for skin and then clean. In this procedure, I'm also using the NOPH, which is the sterile water. Then, put on the diaper. After that, place the baby back to the crib. Then, do after care of the equipment and then perform hand hygiene. Then, chart or record the result of the DAN procedure. 